My name is David Rodriguez and I own a plot here at Fox and Laura. This is where I have my kale and then we have some cilantro growing on the side. There's serrano peppers that I just got that I just got planted in not too long ago. The family all the way over there uh, to my far right they have uh, cherry tomatoes growing. It's making an impact. Um, I know the community members they appreciate the garden and, and all all of the fruits that they get from it and vegetables that they get from it, all the produce. Todo lo que he colectado de aquí, yo he compartido con mis amigas, les llevo porque hemos colectado tanto. It's important to promote healthy eating here because there is a very high uh, rate of diabetes, heart disease. We don't want to see so many fast food places pop up on the corners. We'd rather see community gardens and edible parkways on our corners. We're asked to, to weigh what, what we have uh, harvested and uh, we log it into a sheet that we have in our, in our supply cabin right in the back and then we can just go ahead and take that home. I usually like to just go home and cook my kale. <laughs> Our organization has a youth component to it. Uh, we have a youth group called Youth United Towards Environmental Protection. And uh, for several years now, our organization has had high school clubs at the various high schools in the area. And San Fernando High School is just across the street. And uh, we work with a few of the teachers on campus to really build that link in the community with the students at San Fernando High School. The Science Club has a garden plot uh, on this site. and. It's, it's a different way for them to understand uh, uh, how vegetables grow, um, how daylight uh, affects the vegetables, how water affects the vegetables. So instead of just reading it out of a book, they get to come, they get to participate in growing vegetables here. And um, it was a success and we even have a garden plot on campus as well, uh, which uh, Mrs. Duran, the science teacher, uh, works with the students on campus to grow those vegetables. When you go to the market, you buy food that has been used with pesticides and is imported from all over the world and um, the gas that is spent to use um, to transport that food you save that gas by growing it locally so that's one way to um, produce our carbon footprint. I take great joy in being able to bring these, uh, these activities to the students and see them really uh, ask questions about the garden, ask questions about how to get organized and bring these projects to the community. It's really great to have the students open up and want more of this in their community. It really transformed the civic pride. I believe it really, from, from looking at vacant lots like what's across the street to being able to see this, um, it makes people in the community feel like they're valued and they're really getting the resources that they deserve. Invitar a toda la gente ¿verdad? que nos ve, que, que ve que estamos colectando, comiendo saludable de lo que estamos sembrando y cosechando. We see ourselves continuing to be advocates for, uh, for our community, teaching our community members how to advocate for themselves so that they can create the sustainable changes that we need to see and, and just greening the place up, making it healthier, making it, making it a place where we can thrive and really, and really grow and we can keep happening for generations.